Right, we are here at um, Alexandra Park, uh, Group 1 Racing Night, and I'm catching up with, uh, well, I've got to call him a Kiwi because I'll get into trouble, but uh, also an Aussie and a very, very familiar face, uh, Josh Dickey. Hello, mate. Hi, Paul. No, 100% Kiwi. <laughs> no, 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 no. You've got a little bit of Aussie in you. I'm sorry. I hate to tell you this. Yeah, no. Well, Sammy, she's half Kiwi as well. So, yeah. no. you got, you got plenty of Aussie, mates, that's, that's for sure. And um, good to get a winner on uh, big nights like this, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, driving a winner anywhere is great. But, you know, the bigger nights... Um, more people are watching and, you know, I'm just lucky. I've got a good book of drives and, you know, hopefully the rest of the night can just have a bit of luck. But, um, yeah, he's a nice enough horse going forward and he had a good trip and worked out good. Beautifully bred horse. Um, Brecken Farms, they win in races everywhere at the minute, but beautifully, beautifully bred horse um, and looked a treat before the race. I was happy. I was lucky enough to be talking to you um, before he went out. He's a cool dude. He's got a little bit of character. He's got a bit of uh, want of tension, I suppose, is the best way to put it, but he's a cool little fella. Yeah, it's probably half his problem. He's just a bit too cool. He's very <laughs> relaxed and laid back and lacks a bit of gate speed. And um, I, I think it'll make him later on, though. He, he's so laid back in his races that uh, you can actually do a bit of work with him. Some of his runs, he, he's actually done a lot of work and he just keeps going. And um, I think later on, as, as a four-year-old, especially in those stand starts, he can... I think he could do a little bit of work and get away with it and probably get through the grades. Well, he's bred to be racing in better races on a night like tonight, isn't he? Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, he is. He's phenomenally bred. Um, yeah, amazing page on him. But, um, you know, he's not the biggest sort of horse, which may have just stopped him being a nice sort of young two-year-old. But, um, yeah, he's going to repay them later on, I think. The rest of the night, you, got, you said you've got a good book of nights, uh, drives. Team's going terrific. You'd be happy with how they're going. A little bit quiet the last couple of weeks, but um, start, start to the year has been exceptional. Yeah, you just have your runs, don't you? You know, um, we come back from Australia and, and we just had an amazing run for a month or six weeks. And yeah, the last couple of weeks have slowed down a bit, but I mean that's just that's just life, and that you know happens to everyone. And uh, you know, we a few of the horses at Stonewall unfortunately got viruses, and um, you know it was, it was just one of those things. But um, it's been great just to regroup and. The last few weeks, the teams are starting to get back to where they were, and and you know the results are starting to show. Getting a few trotters back around you too. I know Amanda won't like me saying this, but great to have these trotters. And um, got a nice little book. You got a couple that are you know a little bit quirky. I think I spoke to you before about Jockers Hill and um, and that. But he's got a lot of ability. That's one thing they have got. They have got ability. You just be patient with some of these trotters. Is always one of the keys, isn't it? Yeah, with Jokers Hill especially, it just, it just requires a lot of patience. Um, he had a little bit of an excuse last week. He just pulled up with a minor injury, so, you know, that um, that's just how it is. But yeah, he's a type of horse. He's got plenty going for him, and he's going to need another 12 months of just racing and getting him grounded to it because I think he, he could be a future sort of cup trotter. Um, how far he goes when he gets there, I'm not sure, but he's got the ability to get through the grades. Uh, there's plenty of good young trotters. Um, Steve Stockman went to the sales this year and bought a handful of really nice well-bred trotters. Uh, a couple of them have already gone down south. Uh, we got left with a couple of them up here. Um, they're just beautiful, beautiful animals. Again, their pages are outstanding. and um, I think it's awesome that they're, they're starting to get into the trotters. They've had a lot of paces, as you know, um, but now they're getting the trotting bug and you know, I'm excited about that. Yeah, I imagine you would because I mean you're a harness person through and through but I think you have a little bit of a softer spot for the trotters over some of the uh, highlights you've had for your career so far. Yeah well it's my major highlights have all been with the trotters and yeah that you know there's just a little bit of an art to it there's you know, things go wrong quickly with trotters and you got to map out what's wrong and I think you know we, we sort of like the, the challenge in it and when you get them trotting well it's just so rewarding and when you sit behind a good one um, I've always said it when you sit behind a good pacer and a trotter I think the trotter just feels better they, they just I suppose because it's natural and natural gait um, you know I remember you know speeding spur many times he just just felt amazing and now I've been lucky enough I've driven just believe a bit now at home and uh, yeah it's just an amazing feeling sitting behind a good one. What does he like to sit behind? He looks a cool dude he looks a pretty easy trotter to drive. Yeah well I, I First time I drove him, I rung Greg straight afterwards and I said, mate, you're lying to everyone. I said, what do you mean? I said, this horse is pretty easy, isn't he? He's pretty easy going and oh, he's just such a master horse. He, he's very intelligent. Um, he, he knows what he's doing. Um, his gait's just unbelievable. It just feels like he keeps running, you know. And Yeah, I, as I say, I'm lucky just to be able to bowl him around and work a few times. Um, you know, I've sat behind some really good trotters, you know, now and um, I'm, I'm not sure... Um, you know, I'll be able to sit behind one like that for a while, but you know, it's uh, it's just a real pleasure. He's a, he's a master horse, and it's great the Kiwis now are understanding how good he is and how how far the Australian trotters have come. Um, you know, I, I think the the Aussies have really got the the edge on us at the moment.
I think it's exciting for the industry full stop. Um, and I hate comparisons. I could sort of ask you, you know, who's comparing the speeding spur? Um, we don't want to do that. Just celebrate how good a horse this is and enjoy what he's putting on. It's just it's just great. And you know, I think the job that Greg and Jess have been doing, but even yourself and Sam, you know, like when you guys were there looking after him and things along those lines, that I think yeah, you know, there's so many people in this industry that get it. We've got to promote, we've got to get on the front foot, and it's just great. And I think and you know, bugger this debate over who's better, which horse is better, just celebrate this horse. Just watch him and celebrate him. And even if he gets beat tonight, who cares? It's just the job he's done is just outstanding at getting people talking about the trotter. Well, that's the thing, and I've always said it to you, you can't, can't compare the errors. Um, you know, Lyle Creek was, was an amazing horse, and you, just, you, you, can't, you can't put them in the categories. They're just master horses of, of their own era. And, um, yeah, I think you're right about promoting them. You know, what, what he's doing at the moment, regardless of what happens tonight, uh, he, he will lose no fans because I, uh, I got interviewed the other day and I, I said on the radio that uh, I'm not sure you'll see a trotter do that, what he did last start. Uh, as easy as what he did, sit outside them um, and, and you know bully them, and, and that's what the champions do. They just absolute bullies and uh, beat him at his own game. Um, it was yeah, it was just so cool to watch. And you know we've we've seen great trotters over the last couple of decades, uh, but there's only very few that can do things like that, and he, he is one of those few. The worst part is after the race, like he's just a little plain bay, like he's like a you know an altar boy or something like that. He's just this sweet, innocent little little horse. But exactly what you said, he's bashing up some really nice horses, and you know he's he's giving them a hiding out there, and he comes back in and he goes, sorry. And sort of nearly the way he's about it, isn't he? Well, that's the thing, and even looking after him for Greg and Jess, well, you know they've um, had you know deal with business back home. Um, he, he's a funny fella. He, he really just likes to do his work and be left alone. And he, he's really, if you walk through the barn, he's not one that you'd look at and go, "Wow, like what a horse!" You could walk past him. You could, and and he, even driving him, you're walking out to the track, he puts his head on his knees, which can be annoying sometimes. But that's just him. He just you know, he gets on the track and does the job and. You know, that's, it's funny how they've got their own little uh, quirks and that's Harry, as, as everyone knows, he's, he just likes to do his own thing, be left alone and, you know, he, he's rewarding Greg and Jess and all the owners. And, yeah. and, the, and, the, and the industry. Mate, I get to talk trotting harness with you all the time. Well done, winning with Twister, uh, well done to the Telfer team and, um, and that, but thanks for just giving me a bit of a chat. I just like getting content out there and get people thinking about our industry in the right way, mate, and you're always great for that. So thank you very much. Good luck later in the night. If you win a few more, well, I'll just see. If you, do, if you have a Johnny Dunn night, I might have to come back and interview you, but uh, you mightn't see me otherwise. Yeah, I'd love a Johnny Dunn night. That was amazing what he did last night. There's, I think there's only been two other drivers that have done that. He's happy. He's, he's level with his brother now. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And he's, uh, he's on target for the premiership this year. I've always thought Johnny's a master driver. Uh, Dexter obviously is, but Johnny's been a great driver for many years. And seeing what he did last night, it's not surprising. And you know, Tony Hill, he'd been the other man that's, that's, that's notched that up. Um, Tony would always say that... Uh, the seven wins that he got were all on premier night and he's he said he's always got his nose in front on that so uh, that's just typical cheeky tony banter but um you know that's you've got three guys up there the absolute legends that have done that now i think that's the thing the names mate thank you really uh, appreciate your time good luck later in the night cheers mate thanks mate